Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. So in the last few episodes, we talked about a few ways of doing mouse automation. Today, we're graduating to having one fader and a few knobs. So I got my MIDI keyboard right here. It doesn't have too many faders, but it has one fader and four knobs. So that's plenty for me. However, it'd be annoying if I had to keep assigning them. But what I can do is, for example, assign my volume and my pan fader to work on the last touch track. So you come to these commands in your actions list. This is set volume for last touch track, MIDI CC, and I will set it to this. If you didn't know, they do accept CC messages as well. So I hit okay. For my pan, I'm gonna use this knob right here. And now I got my volume and pan mapped. So basically whatever track I touch, I can move the volume like this. I can move the pan like that. Now, if you want, you can set width to another knob if you want, but I like to keep these other three free for doing other kinds of automation and the way to do that is I got this effects set MIDI learn for last touched effects parameter so you know if I come to this reverb I touch this then I can go to param learn or I can just touch it close it hit this move a fader so now if I want I can come to this track select it now I move the volume this way the pan that way and then my mix with this knob right here so one last thing that I will show you is this MPL learn editor and over here you will see every assignment that you've made in the project because right now if I select for example another one of these parameters and learn it and use the same knob now my knob is controlling both of them so you can always go to your learn editor and for example get rid of the top one and now it only controls the decay. So this is a quick way of kind of seeing what you've already assigned to what. It's a quick workaround if you don't have a big controller with tons of faders. So I hope you enjoyed this video and tomorrow we're going to look at all the automation write modes in Reaper. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.